Welcome back to the Weekly Roundup, where we bring you all the top stories from the week. I'm Kelsey with GTV. A university law professor was charged Tuesday with stalking and harassing his ex-girlfriend. According to court documents, the alleged victim said she was raped and suffered seizures from the physical abuse. Professor Francesco Parisi was released on a $500,000 bail on Wednesday and has a scheduled hearing in March. The surprise pick from Minnesota legislators coined four new members to the Board of Regents on Wednesday. Among the pick is General Mills CEO Ken Powell. He is the only pick that was nominated on the floor the night of the election. Gopher softball is at the top of their conference with a winning streak of nine games. This is the best the team has done since the start of the program. The Gophers will continue the season with a string of tournaments against nationally ranked teams. A rally at the Capitol Tuesday calls for reforms against opioid abuse that has been a rising epidemic across the country. Opiate-related deaths have risen 436% since 2000 and are continuing to climb. A new bill would increase funding by $20 million for education and prescription cutbacks. Thanks for watching this week's Roundup. Check back every Sunday to get the latest headlines of the week.